Hi guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another exciting slime video because today we are unboxing a $300 mystery slime package that was sent to me. So a slime shop from Australia called Kitty Cake Slime actually sent me all of these slimes for free and today I'm going to give my 100% honest opinion on all their slimes. And real quick, my slime shop is still open. There are limited slimes available for my final Halloween restock. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any Halloween themed slimes, I'll have the link in the description box below so you can check out my shop and purchase slimes if you're interested. And for today's post notification shout out, there are three of you guys and the first one goes out to Jazzia Games. Hey, it's me, Angel. And Annie Hayslip. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on. And if you guys want to get a shout out in my next video, make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down down below when you have done that. I'm going to keep this intro nice and short for you guys. So let's just get right into the slime review. Woo! This package from Kitty Cake Slimes came all the way from Australia to me, which is so crazy. They sent a huge box with eight slimes and inside was a cute little note. And it basically said that everything you guys see in the box today is what you would get if you purchase eight slimes from them. And I love that because then you guys can really see what you would get extras wise if you purchase from their shop. All their slimes are between eight to 12 US dollars on their site. And I'm going to have it linked below in the description box. So make sure you guys show them some love. It honestly felt like Christmas opening this box up. Everything was pink and so cute. They included a care sheet pamphlet and in it was a packet of glitter, stickers, activator dust, and their business card. And of course their care sheet, which was so well made, they really spent a lot of detail on every little thing. They also included this cute little notebook, a cute little pink racket, and this metal rack, which I was so excited about because I've seen slime pressing done with this and it looks so cool. They also included a squishy, and all eight of their slimes, which came nicely bubble wrapped. None of them were damaged in transit, which was amazing, especially because this came across the whole world. And there were also so many more fun pink colored extras that I found in my package, which was so fun to unbox. Starting off with this first slime, I am in love with their logo. It's so cute. Their labels for the slimes are so fun as well. This one is called a popcorn bag. Their containers are really unique. I've never seen containers like this before, and it says product of Australia on the bottom, so that's probably why, but I love them. This slime came with a few popcorn kernel charms, and it's a thick and crunchy foam slime. There are yellow and orange small foam beads and white larger foam beads for some added crunch and texture. This has some amazing bubble pops from all the beads. I love crunchy slimes and this one was perfect in texture. It's scented just like butter popcorn. I've used this scent before in slimes and it's one of my faves. I love this one. Next up, we have Banana Cream Mellow Puff. This came with yellow java chip foam pieces in it, but it also came with a little baggie of banana Fimo slices and a banana charm that you get to add in yourself, which was so fun. As soon as I opened the slime, I could instantly just smell the sweet banana scent. It smells amazing. It really smells like banana cream too. This felt like a thick butter slime texture wise. It may have even been a slay slime, so a slight amount of clay in it because it felt very thick, so it didn't really feel like a true butter slime. It wasn't the stretchiest slime out there, but it had a nice holdable texture to it. So this would be a great slime for beginners or for anyone who has hands that tend to melt slimes when they hold it. This would be perfect for you. I still really love this slime because I personally love thick slimes like this so I can just sit at my computer and play with it as I edit. So I personally like this one a lot. Next 
next up we have this pretty pink slime called Permaid. Such a cute name. Again, I love that they kept the glitter separate so you get to add it in yourself. So I just added in these iridescent flakes and pretty glitters and this cute cat mermaid charm that the slime came with. Oh my god, you guys. I love, love, love this slime. Not only does it look so pretty with all the add-ins, but the texture is so thick. This came across the world to get to me and the texture is still so 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 thick i am so shook right now this is just a great thick holdable clear slime it's unscented as well to preserve the clarity and again i just love it and i'm so impressed And here we have bubblegum pop. This is a pretty bubblegum pink colored slime and it's scented just like bubblegum. This is another thick slime and it came with a cute pink gumball machine charm. This reminded me a lot of unicorn slime Chanel number no. two. It's a super thick slime and it has a very similar scent to it and the color is pretty similar as well. I wanted to try out the metal rack on this one and I'm not sure if I was doing this right because it kind of just kept sticking to the slime. But the second time I tried it, I didn't let it sit on top of the slime for longer than like a second and I think it worked better. But this was so much fun to do because it produces such great bubble pops. But let me know down in the comments below if I'm using this wrong or if there's a proper way of using it because it was kind of just sticking to the slime. Maybe it was just the wrong slime texture, but let me know. Overall, I really love this slime a lot as well. Moving on, we have cotton candy ice cream. Aesthetic wise, this might be my favorite slime so far. I just love how you get to DIY this one as well. It came with a pink chocolate charm, pink sprinkles and glitters, and a cute little ice cream cone that I just added into the slime. The color of the slime and the pink sprinkles make such a cute color combination. It definitely reminds me of cotton candy. Texture wise, this felt like a slay slime, not quite a true butter slime. I don't know what they were trying to go for with this one, but I think it was more like a slay slime. It wasn't very stretchy and it had a similar texture to the banana cream slime. It has a strong cotton candy scent to it, which I loved so much. This was another great slime and I highly recommend it for anyone who is just getting into slime because it's really easy to play with and very holdable. I promise you will love it. I love the name of this next slime. It's called Midnight Zone. This came with a little packet of add-ins with all these cute little star and moon beads and pretty pearl type beads. I just can't even describe it. You guys just have to see how pretty this is. And it just blends so well with the color of the slime. I just can't. It's so pretty. And it also came with a mermaid tail charm. This was another thick clear slime. I love the texture of their clear slimes. They're so perfect and I just, I still can't get over how thick this slime stayed from traveling across the entire world. So crazy. This slime was unscented, which I really loved because then you could really see all the pretty add-ins in the slime, especially when you stretched it out. You could see every little detail of the glitters and the beads that were in the slime. Thick slimes have been such a thing lately and I love them. I tend to leave mine overactivated a little as well because over time they will end up melting. So it's really nice to kind of leave it a little overactivated and as thick as possible. But overall, I really love this one too. Great job so far, kitty cake slimes. Next 
up we have kitty cake pop this is a pastel pink colored slime that came with these jumbo foam balls in the slime and also came with a little baggie with a cute lollipop charm and sprinkles with small pink foam beads this slime was very thick I said the slimes before were thick but this one was a lot thicker it was a little bit stiff and tough to stretch at first but the more and more I kept playing with it, the stretchier it got. And that may have been due to the temperature of my hands, but the texture ended up being a lot stretchier the more and more I played with it. If you're looking for a slime with really good bubble pops, this one is it because of the jumbo foam balls. I couldn't really quite figure out the scent of this one. It kind of smelled like cotton candy mixed with something else. It had a really sweet scent to it, but I just couldn't quite get the scent, but I still really liked it. And lastly, we have Ollie's Kitty Cream. This slime came with a wooden spoon and out of all the slimes I reviewed today, this was definitely the stretchiest and smoothest one and it felt like a true butter slime to me. This texture is really smooth and creamy and reminded me a lot of frozen yogurt. It had a vanilla scent to it which smelled so good. I'm just so happy that they sent me a butter slime because you guys know how much I love my butter slimes. I also tried using the racket on this one, but I think the slime may have been a little bit too creamy for it, so it wasn't really quite working out, or maybe I just wasn't doing it right. But overall, I was so impressed with Kitty Cake Slimes, and I highly recommend their slime shop. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my 100% honest opinion on Kitty Cake Slimes. Again, thank you so, so much to them for sending me this package. And if any of you guys are interested in sending a package for a 100% honest, underrated Slime Shop review, I'll have my Slime Shop in the description box down below. So you guys can DM me and reach out to me if you're interested in sending me a package. And as always, if you guys are not a member of the K-Squad, hit the red subscribe button down below. Join the fam. We are constantly growing every single day and I appreciate each and every single one of you for subscribing and joining the fam. Stay tuned for more slime videos coming your way. I love you guys so so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!